Hey, happy Friday, guys. Matt here, and on this video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about four ways to outsource online arbitrage. So, you know, if you're watching this video, it probably means you're a little bit further down in the chain as far as, uh, you know, you've experienced selling on Amazon, and now you're looking at, you know, how do I actually scale this thing? Actually, actually, you know, free my time up from this business um, so I can either, I can be, you know, sort of, the business can still run, but I don't necessarily actually have to be there. Um, we have actually successfully done this. We've gotten it down to eight to 10 hours a month. The only thing that we've done uh, when we had to outsource like this is to um, reprice the repricer. And uh, I'll explain kind of more about that here in a little bit. But um, uh, basically, you know, it goes something like this. So, you know, a lot of people, let me just first all just first off, just say this, you know, you may not be at the point where you're actually ready to outsource your business and maybe you are so you know if you're you know got the process down you've done you you understand sourcing you understand shipping you understand uh repricing you understand account management you know if you've gotten all these things components down then it's time to look at you know what what can i outsource what can i get done uh what can i uh outsource have somebody else do sorry is what i'm trying to say uh so the uh the the number one well, let's start with this first way uh of outsourcing business so for us what we did was we had um you know myself my wife and we were just running the business just the two of us right and we'd have our house filled with just boxes boxes of all kinds of stuff you know soap vitamins shoes dog food uh just all kinds of stuff right and uh and then we started to look at it and we say okay well <laughs> we do not want our living room filled with so much stuff. How are we going to do this? But, you know, it was kind of like, well, do we use like a prep center, right? That was what we were kind of wondering about. And what we first did was we actually, hey, Kathy, what's going on? We actually had somebody um, come to our house and uh, do the shipping with us. And so it was just my wife, me, and a woman named Naomi. And so we, I do like sourcing five days a week and then... Um, uh, Naomi would come over and the three of us would take care of the shipments about twice a week. So um, that was the first step was like outsourcing the shipping part of it. Because when you think about it, you know, uh, bubble wrap, tape, boxes, you know, that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty easy to describe task and it doesn't require necessarily a lot of um, real trust, like giving somebody your credit card information. <laughs> That's like a whole nother level, right? Uh, so we felt like that was a good place to start. And so that's what we did. Um, then what we decided to do was to actually graduate to a prep center, somebody who, and there are prep centers all over in tax-free states like Delaware and Oregon. And, and what they do is you buy your stuff and it's sent to their center. And then what they do is they, uh, they box it up. They ship it into Amazon for you. Uh, into Amazon's warehouse, FBA. If you're not familiar with FBA, it stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. It means that uh, Amazon's going to be shipping the items to the customer on your behalf. Uh, and so instead of Merchant Fulfilled, which is basically uh, item sells on Amazon, like let's say you have a book floating around, you're like, oh, great, it's sold. I got to go package and ship this in uh, myself individually. So it, it makes sense to do it in bulk, right? And I assume that if you're watching this video, uh, you know all this stuff already. But sometimes I know a lot of folks come to our channel on FBA Couple, our YouTube channel, and uh, they're brand new. You know, they have just gotten started selling on Amazon. They don't understand what FBA means. So I like to kind of introduce that information just to make sure I, I grab everybody. So once we did that, uh, and by the way, a prep center can be difficult and you, you can run into issues that um, with using a prep center, you can run into the problem of your orders getting canceled. And so the best kind of prep centers are the, the people who work out of their homes. Uh, that's a huge tip for you. So that way, um, you know, your orders won't get canceled as much. Okay. Um, as long as you're buying smart and not buying in too large of quantities, uh, you know, that can happen or in certain stores. It's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a game you kind of have to figure out. But anyway, uh, the second step, the second stage, you know, we looked at it was sourcing, outsourcing the sourcing. So, uh, I remember what this was like because Sherry and I, we were looking at, okay, we got to hire somebody. We should hire somebody. Like, I, I don't want to do this stuff anymore. I was kind of saying, you know, like this is somebody we could hire out. And 
you know, Sherry had, uh, you know, and I had both kind of like put it out to the universe, if you will, you know, to the cosmos. Like, this is what we were looking for, right? Said, you know, we want somebody who can do the sourcing for us. Turned out, uh, this woman, uh, her name is Jill, she was posting on Facebook and she said, uh, I'm looking for extra work. And Sherry immediately said, okay, hey, 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 you, come on over, come on over, come on, let's, let's work together. So she came over to her house and she watched me source. And then uh, I started to look over her shoulder. This was over a process over a few days. I started to look over her shoulder and I watched her source. And uh, basically what happened was, oh, my, my family's coming in, so it's going to get loud here in just a sec here. But anyway, um, so I started to, you know, I, more or less, I lost my track of thought. Oh, I was saying that, uh, you know, she was sourcing. I was sourcing. I'm yeah, hey, I'm on a live video, bud. On a video. Yeah. So, um, so I was over like overseeing what she was doing. And after a while of her overseeing her doing it, basically it came to the point where it was like, okay, we're out, we're out going on a trip. It's time to let you go and let you do it. And, uh, we didn't even do a background check or anything like that. Yeah. It's really funny bunny ears. Um, <laughs> we just kind of let her do it. And I'm telling you, it was the most freeing thing in the world. She used the cash back. She used our credit card. You know, we could oversee all the purchases. She did it all in a spreadsheet so we could oversee everything. Uh, she worked out great. She no longer works for us, but it was great having her um, while we had her. So, yeah. Um, and you can do this, you know, with uh, somebody in the Philippines too. You don't have to necessarily use them the base in the U.S. Um, we just felt like somebody working in the U.S. Could, would be the best uh, option for us. And it worked out great. So now the next thing that there is, is do you want to drive? You want to drive? No, oh, you so. can't. Sherry's uh, Sherry just got back from uh, the MRI and they gave her a Valium, so she can't drive. I may have to end this video pretty I quickly. Can drive. I yeah, can. you could drive. Well, uh, give me like uh, just a few minutes, okay? Um, next task would be uh, repricing. So repricing and account management, those go hand in hand. Um, what happened was we had Jill going and we just said, what we found is if you ask word of mouth, say, hey, Jill, do you know any somebody that you'd recommend? And uh, she said, yeah, her roommate, Brittany. So Brittany ended up working for us and she's still working for us. She works great. And what she does is the repricing and the account management. So, you know, you've got to go in there. You've got to fight IP claims sometimes. you got to, you know, go handle, you know, inventory if there's lost or stolen stuff, you know, things like that. That's what she handles. Okay. Then there's also um, the repricing. So. Uh, you know, when items go like say for, uh, you know, 15 bucks and, uh, you know, you have it at $15 and one cent and you're not winning the buy box. And then you can, you can use a repricing tool that can go in there and just, you know, make it 1499 or something like that. And then the item will sell. So, um, you know, the repricer does a lot of the work for you, the software. Are you getting bored? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll try to, I'll try to speed this up. Um, cinnamon roll. So anyway, um, the repricer does the work for you. Yeah. So the, re the, the software, is, the repricer is a software that does the work for you, but you still need to go in there. Sometimes, um, you know, you kind of have to like go in there and reprice the repricer. Like maybe you didn't set it. You said that a price is going to make a profit and it turns out it's one of those items that just didn't make that much money and you needed to break even on it. And so that's what you set it up for. So basically I already did those are the, okay. uh, those are the, uh, <laughs> Sorry, guys. the four ways to outsource online arbitrage. And I see a Dominic, uh, he says, I've not uh, found anything decent at Walmart, which is weird. Yeah, I mean, there's multiple stores, not just Walmart, go to like multiple stores, you know? I mean, there's so many. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, hopefully that information's helpful, useful to you. Um, you know, once you've, once you've got those four tasks done, then you basically got a business down to where it's outsourced, and that's what we've been able to do. And, um, you got, you know, for a lot of folks, like I say, best way to get started is just get with our free training, resellforprofits.com. Go there, watch the free video, get get integrated in 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 uh, in in what's the word? Get immersed into the the culture, the language, everything. Start doing it yourself before you start outsourcing. But that's basically how you do it. You do it yourself, then you start to outsource, and that's basically it, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. guys. All right, take care, guys. Have a great day. Make sure to and, sell uh, food items. If you're on uh, if you're if you're on our YouTube channel, please subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, throw the video a like and love to hear your comments as always in the questions or your questions in the comment section. My YouTube channel is Maester. See you guys. Oh.